So welcome, welcome guys. Um, so I know that uh, this is probably your first statistics course and you know, it's a little intimidating and I know that it is quite a, uh, it can be quite daunting, especially being, especially coming to terms with something that probably that is somewhat a little bit familiar, but not quite. So first thing is, you know, rest assured that, you know, don't be intimidated. In many ways, statistics is a little bit like telling a story using data. That's effectively what we're doing here. And this is going to be a first in a series of around four videos that will be trying to give you a bit of a flavor as to what we're trying to do with the course and what you should try and get out of this course. And hopefully by the end of it, also try and tell your own story using the tools that we have kind of taught you. So if we think about it, if we kind of use the same analogy when we're thinking about telling a story, how do you kind of tell a story to someone, right? Think about it. Do you really start with all of the micro details as to, for example, what you did at 9 a.m., what you did at 10 a.m., what you did at 1 p.m., what you had for lunch, and what were the ingredients? Probably not, right? Let's, uh, let's be honest. You probably provide them with a bit of a summary. And in many ways, that's sort of the starting point on your journey in statistics. That's effectively why it is. You have your raw, your raw material, which is the data, and we're just trying to make some sense to basically tell a story with it, right? So descriptive stats is really the first part where we're trying to summarize this data and provide some sort of sense to what we're kind of basically doing with this data. And if you think about it, it's a summary, right? And why do I say it's a summary? Because we're trying to identify key features of this data, much like you would actually do when you're telling the story to anyone, for example, what you did over the weekend, right? So that's basically what we're kind of doing. And in many ways, this is probably something that's quite familiar to all of you, right? If you think about it, you've already been exposed to it. Think about all of the histograms, all of the pie charts, all of the line graphs that you have actually been exposed to when you're reading newspaper articles. In effect, that is a descriptive statistic. That is a way of presenting data, right? And that's one way of doing it through visuals, right? But of course, statistics being a numbers driven course, and it's a very quantitative course, that's all very nice and it's beautiful. And in, and in fact, you, you should probably check some of them out. Of course, we can capture the same information using numbers. And for example, think about averages, right? So I know that most of you probably think of calculating averages as just simply adding numbers and then divided by the number of numbers that you see. But let's kind of explore that a little bit. Think about, well, what exactly is it? Well, if you think about it, right? It's basically a measure of where the center of the histogram is if you were to draw one. That's effectively all it is. Except rather than drawing the histogram and then saying, oh yeah, I'm pointing it as to where the center is, you've actually got a number telling you exactly where that middle is, right? Think about things like variance. It's a measure of dispersion, right? So in other words, think about the histogram again and think about how spread out that data is, right? And that, in effect, is another measure, another key feature of the data that you'll see, isn't it, right? And then, of course, you get things such as skewedness and kurtosis and all these other things. But effectively, when we think about things such as the visual ways of representing data versus that of the numeric, they're kind of equivalent, right? One is just simply a different language compared to the other. With the other, it's all visual, right? So think about when you're, so to use another analogy, think about when you're describing a scene. You can paint the picture or you could describe it using words, much like what we're doing with data here, right? We can give you a graph or we can just simply give you one very precise measure of what that thing is, right? So this is kind of the first stage where we're just trying to understand the data, identify the key features of the data, and really, this sets the tone and the journey for which we will move on to bigger things where we talk about things such as inferential stats. So the next series of videos in order will be probabilities, which is basically giving you the tools to try and do something bigger with your summary, <laughs> as to speak, so to speak. 
and then we get then going to move on into inferential stats, which is really the bit that matters, right? Let's be honest, guys. No one really cares about what the average, um, the average height of of your cohort is, or what the average height in UNSW is. But for policymakers, the average height of Australia is what probably matters. So really, the question then becomes: Well, given that this is the data we have and I understand this particular data really well, what can we actually say about the population, right? That's really the bit that matters and that's what we're journeying towards. And I hope that you'll enjoy this journey with us and most certainly we'll, we'll enjoy this journey very much with you. So take care and I'll see you in the next one.